So, what is going on, everybody? Hello, welcome to this week's FMF uh, PO Box opening. It's about a mighty 3 a.m. A lot of you guys know that we have the UCL draft going on, and my sleep schedule is all kinds of terrorized because of the incessant all night staying up planning and streaming all day. It's just very exhausting, hence why this week's FMF is on a Saturday. I really need to be very poignant about getting these out on Friday. I actually haven't had the chance to head to the PO Box this week, but we still have some mail left over from last week. If you guys saw the last FMF, then you know I specifically saved mail for this week for this reason, so we have lots of stuff to open. Of course, if you guys would like to send something in to FMF, the address to our PO Box is included in the description below. You guys can definitely send stuff in. Whatever you send in, send it on a one-way trip. Please do not expect anything to be returned. But with that, let's go ahead and get into this here opening. I think we're gonna start with a box this week that comes from... Who knows? And I always end up forgetting to say this, but if you wanna send something into FMF, include a picture of yourself. I wanna put together a big old mural of you guys because you guys get to see me every single day, but I don't get to see what you guys look like. I don't get to associate a face to the name. All right, inside we have a note of sorts. So let us see what it says. It says, hey yo, it's me again. I finally got back from Japan, jet lagged all hell. I promised some goods from the Mega Pokemon Center in Ikebukuro. In the box, there's probably like one or two Gengar things, that's it. The Mega Pokemon Center was super cool. Granted, I probably spent too much money on myself. Oh well, anyways, enjoy your stuff. Uh, also, congrats on 400,000 subscribers, that's amazing. P.S. The washcloth is a weird quality, sorry. Okay, bye. And it's from Rachel. She did send us something a few weeks back, so I'm glad that your trip to Japan was fun. I'm still jealous that you got to go to the Pokemon Center, but let us see what we have here. There is a washcloth of Steven. <laughs> I think it, you say it's a weird quality, I think because it's, it's made to have like a uh, grip so that you can like scrub stuff with it, but we have a Steven washcloth. Never in a million years would I ever expect to have a Steven washcloth. That's kind of wild. Let's see what else we have inside here. Oh my goodness. These are actually a thing. We have Gengar socks. <laughs> We have Gengar socks. If you would have told me that I'd be recording a video at 3 a.m. holding a pair of Gengar socks in my hand a couple days ago, I would have called you a goddamn liar. But we have Gengar socks here as well. We are not done yet, we are not done yet. There is a Mega Gengar figure here as well. I don't know if you guys can see if the reflection is messing with it, but we have a Mega Gengar figurine. She said there was only one or two Gengar things in the box. There is so much Gengar in here. We have a hiding in people's shadows at night that absorbs their heat. The chill it causes makes their victims shake. We have a Mega Gengar. Is that an 8-bit Gengar? It is an 8-bit Gengar or some, some kind of bit Gengar. Their keychain, which is honestly dope as fuck. That's wild. Look at the quality on that, I love that. We have a Gengar keychain, and we're not done yet. We have a Gengar plush, and you know what makes me sad? Is this the only official Gengar plush the Pokemon Company has ever made? This is the only one. I have one of these, because when I saw them, I was like, I have to get it, it's official Gengar, yada yada yada, but it's not like a big or a regular size plush like all the other plushes they make. You know, the ones that are like, you know, like a decent size one, they just have this Gengar, so. I still love it either way because it's Gengar and it's badass. But we're not done yet. We are still not done yet. There's one more thing. You, you jammed a shit ton of stuff in this one box. We have a Japanese Phantom Forces booster box. Or I think in Japan it's it's uh, Phantom Gate. I said booster box. Pack. Pack. I'm going to open it because why not? I remember when we opened up a Japanese booster box for Phantom Gate on the channel a long, long time ago. That was wild. Long, long time ago. Let's see. Are we gonna get anything special inside of here? I don't remember how it goes. I don't remember how, it's, I think it's just one? I think you just move one. But we're gonna have a little impromptu unboxing here. We have a Zerosic. We, we, we're just not gonna, we're just not gonna. We have a Japanese Zerosic, Japanese Zubat, Japanese Totodile, Japanese Mana, and then we have a Holographic Heliolisk. Hot damn. Well, definitely shout out to Rachel. Thank you for sending something in to FMF yet again. I really do appreciate it. So many Gengar goodies, goddamn. Thank you. I think up next we're gonna open this gigantic do not bend uh, manila envelope from Eric in Toledo, Ohio. 
Let's see what we have inside here. Ugh. So we have a letter here, and I'm pretty sure I recognize who it's from. It says, Dear Nappy, don't mind if read out loud. What's good, Nappy? Winston Mafook. Back again, once again, and I'm sorry for leaving you speechless in the last letter. I was told to tell the person to help me through my pain. Thank you. So I wrote that letter from FMF three when I was in high school and only added the Nappy Speaks logo. I should have added this next part to the end of it, but I forgot. Yes, I stopped cutting and I got rid of my razor. Stupendous. I have not tried to take my life since then. Even better, thank you. I'm actually really glad to hear that. I'm very happy to hear that. I still have bad days and my mind does wonder back to if I was if I was gone, would I be missed? But when I get in these type of mindsets, I just play your mini playthroughs. Enough sad talk though. I'm now a senior in college becoming a computer science engineer. I recently came out to my friends and my family and I faced some negativity for it, but I just ignore it. When I mailed my last letter and drawings, I was so happy when I saw you pick up my envelope. Right when you said my name, I started breathing heavy and started having a small panic attack. But right now you pulled my artwork out and knew instantly who from the tears started falling. Not sad tears, but happy tears. Hearing all yours and the Nappy Nation's kind words about all three drawings made me cry more. Every day I go to bed, I rewatch that video just to remind myself that someone out there actually leaves my artwork other than my family. The first person who told me to give up drawing was my high school art teacher, and yes, he can choke on a cactus. <laughs> now this letter is a lot of drawings, and they're not just of you. Sorry for making you a delivery man. One of Vegas Jamie, one of Game Boy Luke, one of Twit, one of Jay, and two of you. When I was in high school, I weighed 309 pounds and started working and lost 109 pounds and still going hot. Damn! Which I can say thank you to Vegas Jamie for inspiring me to lose weight. Here's a picture of me to add to your Nappy Nation roster. I might be going to too many games in PA, so I hope to meet you in the fam. If I meet you, I just want to hug, just saying. Like I said before, there will never be enough words to show how thankful I am for you. Sincerely, Eric Winston Mafook. P.S. My art style is called stencil art, which means it's like graffiti art because I work with only two layers instead of the whole picture. Each drawing is done in .7 lead, just pressed harder for shadows and not so hard for the midtones. One of yours and Twits are done in prismacolored pencils, violet and light blue for yours, and dark blue and light blue for Twits. So is your Gengar drawing from before. So, he did send us a picture of himself here to include in the collage which we will be putting together but shout out to you bro number one I'm glad to hear that you are out of those dark times and number two if you ever venture into those dark times again I'm happy that my playthroughs help you through it but you don't need just my playthroughs think of all the positive things that you have in your life think of your artwork think of the fact that you lost over a hundred pounds which is absolutely insane that is crazy so much hard work and effort you put into it yeah, you are you are an amazing person, yo. Thank you so much for the support on the channels. I'm glad you enjoy the content as well. Now I want to see this art you sent him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see what we have first. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this thing of Jay. <laughs> it looks amazing. I'm just laughing at Jay's face. It looks absolutely amazing, but just look at Jay's face. <laughs> Then we have Nappy Boy back again once again. That is a recent picture I just took on Instagram. You work quick, my good sir. You work quick, quickly. Then we have Jamie in her Asuka makeup. Her Asuka, Asuka. I'll make sure next time I see Jamie, this is even more motivation to get Jamie to come to Tucson. God damn it. Then we have Luke holding his uh, Minin plush there as well. Look at that, hot ah, damn, I like the difference in the, in the contrast in colors, that's dope as fuck. Then we have, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, again, that's another recent picture from our Instagram, and that's the brand new logo from the D-King Nappy channel, that's dope as fuck, yo, that's crazy. And then we got Twit as well, I'm probably gonna see Twit in the next couple of days, since it is his birthday, but hot damn. Look at that, that's wild, Joe, that's wild. Definitely, definitely, definitely stick with your art. Do not ever give it up. I'm gonna put this back in here so none of these get folded. But definitely stick with your art, never give it up because your, your art style is so unique. It is so unique and it's just crazy dope. Bro, thank you so much for sending something in. I really appreciate it. Up next, I think we're gonna bust open this other square ish box square ish no it is a square box this other square box that we had and it comes from somebody in tulsa oklahoma so let's see what's inside we have a letter here that says to nappy and it says dear nappy hey nappy my online alias is buttons brother and i'm writing from oklahoma shout out to the tulsa down flames 
Before I go into my letter, I would just like to say thank you for all of your content and your funny personality that helps me through a day-to-day -day basis. I'm going to the eighth grade and after every day of school, I sit my bag down and turn on YouTube to watch your videos. I first started to view your content after I watched a, a top five video of yours. Now some years after I've become hooked, I am subscribed to all three channels and a proud member of the Nappy Nation. And before I end this letter, I would like to say thank you for introducing me to other great people like Luke J, PK Twit, Nexus, and Mo, even David. But with that, I'm going to end this letter by Sincerely, Buttons. P.S. I hope you like this pop vinyl. Didn't know which one to get, but then I remembered everyone likes Batman. So shout out to you, Mr. Buttons. Thank you so much for the pop vinyl. I really do appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoy the content, yo. I don't want this to be like I'm only opening boxes and stuff, but I do want to go ahead and get rid of some of these boxes that are just sitting on my counter. So we're going to open it up another box this week. This comes from Journey in Cincinnati, Ohio. And I hear things. Okay, opening this box up, there is a lot of stuff in here. Uh, not really quite sure if there's a letter or not. First off, we have some Pokemon cards. We'll check those out in a second. Then we have, oh wait, I think I found, did I open it upside down? I think I opened the box upside down. I think there's a note here first. It's all taped together. You taped everything together. <laughs> Okay, let's see what the letter says first. Since what's good, Nappy, I've been watching your videos since the top five types video. From then on, I was hooked. From then on, I try to watch everything on all three of your channels. If I had to choose a favorite playthrough, it would have to be either Outlast or Albino Lullaby. Please continue to play other parts of these games when they come out. So today of all days, I decided to stop being lazy and send them in. I wasn't sure if he had a peanut allergy, so I apologize ahead of time. Sincerely, Journey. Well, Journey, I'm glad that you enjoy Outlast. I cannot wait for Outlast to it. I can't wait for more parts of Albino Lullaby to come out. Actually, Albino Lullaby is on VR, and I really want to see if I can get my hands on a VR, because I'd love to play through that on there as well. But still, thank you so much for sending a letter in. I want to see what you sent as well. Uh, this looks a little familiar from one of our past Munch Pack openings. I'm pretty sure that we had a bag of these in our Munch Pack as well. I don't think this is the same flavor. No, there was the teriyaki ramen. You can see the different flavors on the back there. But the teriyaki ramen is what we had before. This one is spicy bulgogi. And I actually love bulgogi, so it'd be interesting to try these out. I think I want to save them. Uh, and try it with my parents. Maybe our next Munch Pack opening will have like a little ending part where it's like, oh, BT Dubs, we're gonna try this out. There's also, we have fantastic wasabi flavor, and that sounds absolutely amazing. I have an addiction to wasabi peas, so this sounds absolutely amazing. Then there is also spicy peanuts. Oh, this is what you're talking about. The peanut. Well, maybe peanuts in that too, but this is actually a bag of spicy peanuts too. So that's crazy. Thank you so much. We're not done yet. There is even more product of Japan, watermelon gummy candy. Did you send these to me because I'm black? <laughs> Either way, we have watermelon gummy candy, which will be interesting to try as well. We might have to have a little end segment at the end of the next Munch Pack and try those out. But we have a few Pokemon cards here too to check out. We have the uh, event magic card from Target, I believe, which is kind of dope. I got one of those in LA, which I'm glad to have another one because the artwork on it is absolutely insane. Then we have the trading card, the collector's cards, the Gengar, the uh, Haunter, and then uh, 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 the Ghastly, <laughs> and a Psychic type energy as well, and then an Entei, which is from. I'm not sure which set that's from. I can't remember the name. It's the one that came out after Phantom Forces, I think. Is it Roaring Skies? I'm not 100% sure. I don't think it's Roaring Skies. Maybe? I don't know. Still, either way, thank you so much, Journey, for your support, and thank you for sending stuff in to FMF. The last thing I think we're gonna open this week comes from Sabrina in Palm Bay, Florida, and it says, do not bend, please. So let's see if we can get inside and bend it. Uh... We have a few things here. Make sure we got everything. I do believe we did. Well, we have a letter up first that, oh, uh, it's all taped together. It's all taped together. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, we have a letter here first that says, hello, my name is Sabrina. I'm 21 years old and I have considered myself to be an artist. Let me start by saying that you are my absolute favorite YouTuber. Aww. You make me laugh and smile like no other person can. Even on my bad days, you always make me feel better. To be honest, I've been a little scared to send you my art because I wanted to be absolutely perfect because you deserve the best. Aww. I cannot tell you how much time I spent on this piece for you. I almost wanted to keep it for myself because I'm so proud of it. I plan on doing a digital version of it and recording the process and posting it to my YouTube. 
spooky boot. I wanted to draw it for you because every time you you spot one of your UCL babies, they know exactly what you're going to say. That's a proud member of the Tucson Terrakion. Now I wanted to let you know why you shine so much light in my life. My mother was diagnosed with multiple myeloma when I was only five. It is a cancer of plasma cells and because of that nearly any cells in her body can become cancer. Uh, now after many treatments, re radiation sessions and pills, she's been in remission for 10 years to this date. She has good and bad days, but on those bad days, I can rely on you to remind me that everything will be okay. I cannot thank you enough for the blessing of giving me laughter. Now that all this is out of my out of the way, my favorite moment has to be Bug Nut from Light Platinum. <laughs> Tears are flowing down my face that day. So to wrap this up, my favorite Pokemon is Jolteon. I hope you enjoy the picture and have a nice day, Sabrina. Her Twitter is X Spooky Boo. Uh, P.S. My porn looks like it's so soothing on its ass, scooting on its ass on the other side of this paper. They point it actually really does look like it's scooting on its ass. Will it focus? Get my face out of the camera. Will it focus? It scoot, 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 scoot. Anyway, Sabrina, thank you for the kind words. I'm incredibly, anyway, Sabrina, thank you for the incredibly kind words. And I'm incredibly happy to hear that your mother is doing well. And I'm happy that I have blessed you with the gift of laughter. I've never heard anyone put it that way before, but I kind of like it. Still, everything aside, she did include a picture of herself to include, and that is absolutely amazing. And her artwork that she mentioned, oh my goodness, it is absolutely gorgeous. It is our season one Tucson Terrakions team. You guys, this, it was such a grab bag draft and they did so much work, they did so well. And this artwork is absolutely flawless. This is crazy awesome. Thank you so, so much for this, Sabrina. That's crazy. With that though, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this week's FMF. I know I said I wanted to change locations every single week and we've been in the kitchen for like the past three weeks, but yo, it's been different angles, okay? And plus, this morning it's like 3 a.m. So I was just like, you know what? We're gonna fucking just do it. But still, thank you guys so much for watching this week's FMF. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you'd like to include something or send something into our FMF uh, PO box, the address is included in the description below. Just make sure whatever you send is going on a one-way trip and include a picture of yourself so I can put a face to the name. With that though, I'm gonna get up out. Thank you guys so much for your support and thank you for sending something in. We out this bitch. Bye. We had another postcard this week from Beatrice. She's giving us some dieting tips that worked for her. I think this postcard was supposed to be seen before last week's postcard, but it's okay because they were all seen at the end of the day. Thank you for the kind words, Jane, and the Pokemon cards. Your real MVP. We have a letter from Katie in Tennessee. She's a huge fan of Prime Time, and she's writing this from the hospital because she has asthma. So I really wish the best for you, Katie. I hope you get out soon. We also have a letter from Brandon in Racine, Wisconsin, who sent us Ghastly Haunter and Terrakion. I wish you the best of luck with your channel, bro. We have a very blunt and to the point letter from Jason in Thomas, West Virginia. Thank you for sending us this. I'm not sure what sleeves I use for my Gengar cards. They're just like. The hard shell case. I, I, I don't know what the name is. We have Ed who's writing again from Metuchen, New Jersey. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but he sent in another letter this time with some fusions. We have Jirachi and Empoleon and Gengar and Gardevoir, and those are indeed dope as fuck.